Dude Everything. All right, guys, we are back in free code camp. We're celebrating Hour of Code. If you're not familiar with Hour of Code, you can go to codecademy.com slash Hour of Code. Find a Codecademy meetup to volunteer or help out, or you can go to code.org and do it there as well. But to celebrate that, we're going to build uh, the sun, the earth, and code. Build your own galaxy. So let's go ahead and work our way slowly through this. What we're going to be doing here is going to be a combination of HTML, CSS, and I believe a little bit of JavaScript. So it's been a while since I've done it. I think I've re reset it, the whole thing. So uh, what's going on here is uh, it's asking us to, in our index.html, right? So we're already out there, to add the Earth's image tag. So let's go ahead and do that. Pretty simple. So our ID is the name. In this case, it's Earth. So that's how it knows we're targeting that. If we take that away, no. Oh, we're setting the ID here rather. If we take away the source, the source is where we're getting our information. There you go. So pretty simple. This is an image ID. Uh, we're saying Sun, so we can target it later in the style sheet. And then our source in this case is a yellow circle. It looks like. Let's go ahead and save and submit. And what are we doing now? So what we want to do now is a little bit of CSS. We want to edit in our style sheet up here. This is giving us, this is telling us what we want to do. So for the sun, this is a, that what we're applying to it. We want to do the same thing for the earth here. Uh, what are we going to do? Let's, so top, let's do top and we'll set that at 25%. And then we'll do left at 25% as well. And you can see right there, we're already kind of moving it around. So now it's not touching. And then for position, we'll set it at absolute. So you can see it's slowly moving in and out. Cool, so we've, we've changed a little bit of what's going on here. Although it's not animated yet. So there's a lot of stuff going on here, but we want to change, we wanna, we basically wanna style our sun. Our, ah, our sun. So they give us a couple examples of how they did it. So let's see where we're at here. So in this case, they're giving it a bunch of border parameters and border styling. So if you're, not, if you're not familiar with border, let's start with border dash color or border dash style. And we'll, what's going here is we're gonna let the border around the yellow circle. We wanna get make sure that it's solid. You can do dashed, you can do dotted, um, but we can't see it. So we need to give it a color. And in this case, we're gonna give it orange. So this isn't exactly what we wanted either. <laughs> uh, but this is a, we're gonna change the radius on it, but you can see now that we have an orange uh, radius and we want it to be a little bit thicker. So we're gonna be giving it a, a width of eight pixels. It's looking pretty pretty thick right there. And finally, border radius, oops. Border dash radius of 50% will turn it into a circle. And there you go. So now our sun has a nice little radius. Don't forget your semicolon. And that's how we were able to get the show. And there's a box shadow effect here. So you, I, uh, let's see here. So now we can see a little bit of humming. So the red, I, I believe this uh, zero, zero is where to start in the image. I believe it. So if you have it at zero, zero, it's going to or originate there. Let me see here. We can mess with it. Let's, so let's say a hundred. Full screen. Oh, back to editor, maybe too much. Let's try 50. And so you're, uh, you're gonna have to look at the documentation because I don't fully remember uh, what box shadow is. Huh, I guess it, uh, it probably has to do with some sort of intensity. But that in itself will give us a little bit of uh, some pretty cool uh, aura effect. So what, are, what else are we trying to do here? Next, there's something uh, we're going to locate our image ID tag, Earth. 
So here it is here. We've located it. Surround the Earth image with by adding its own by adding a div. A div is a container. And so we're gonna add a div with a container that does some stuff. So a div with an ID equal to earth dash orbit. And then we need to close the ID, the div here. And the reason Oh, it looks like I may have already done this. So we'll, let me do it again. So we're going to add the div ID earth. Bam. And then slash ID. Oops, slash div. Excuse me. So cool. Uh, we haven't actually programmed anything in here. All we're doing is targeting this. We're saying, look, for whatever goes on in our earth orbit, please apply it to our earth object right here. All right, our next lesson. So in this case, we're now going to be adding some styling to our Earth orbit. So, oh, to edit Earth. So uh, we're gonna make Earth uh, a standard size. So we're gonna set the height of Earth right here. Oh, we wanna change the position. So let's start there to zero. So the position of the Earth for the top starts at zero, meaning that it touches the edge right here, so we're not messing with it. And we want it to go out to the left a little bit more. Oops. And then we want to set the height to 50 pixels. We want to set the width to 50 pixels. We want to give it a margin dash left of minus 25 px. So that's going to change the position of it. And then a margin dash top uh, to minus 25 px. Cool. So let me zoom out a little bit so we can see what's going on here. So you can see that it's, it's kind of off the screen a little bit. And that's fine. That's how it's designed so far. So next, next up, what we want to do is work on the Earth orbit. So we're in our Earth orbit section. Uh, we want to give it a position of absolute. We want to give it a top of 50%. We want to give it a, so you can see when you give it a top of 50%, it's basically centered with the page now. We want to give it a left of uh, 50 percent as well and now you can see that centered in the center of everything or close minus the it's off a little bit because we are we have some uh, other effects on here such as the minus 25 px and the uh, margin dash left margin s top uh, i believe that's probably going to change right now so next we're going to set the width of it and remember, remember, this is a div that we're setting up here. So the reason that's important is you just have to understand what is actually getting targeted. Because our little blue dot is getting targeted by quite a few things at this point. So width, and then we're going to do margin dash top is negative 250 pixels. And then we'll do margin dash left. is negative 250 pixels and we'll do margin oh excuse me we're not doing margin and now we're going to give it a little bit of a border color uh so we're going to do border dash width and what this is going to do is give it a circular effect so we can kind of see it as it's traveling around the sun so we're just going to give it a small little border 2px but uh, I believe the standard color for this is black so that's why it's not showing up so we're gonna do border dash style we're gonna do dotted um, and then border dash color we're gonna make that white and then you can see right there so we kind of see it traveling and again to make it circular we're gonna give it a radius of 50 percent so let's go ahead and border dash radius of 50% cool 
and we save and submit it. Let's see what's going on here. And then um, now what we're going into is we're going to be adding a bunch of animations to it. And probably traditionally you do this in in Java uh, script and jQuery. But now nah, you can also do it. It's just that some of these animations don't work in all uh, all browsers anymore, my understanding is. So they're kind of getting uh, weaved out. So they want us to copy the following CSS and add it. Oops to our CSS file. So let's just go ahead and add it here. Cool. And then they want us to add they want us to add this. And we add this to our Earth orbit section. And now you can see when we make this full screen that our Earth is rotating around the sun. Um, this is actually incorrect because we rotate in a, a ellipse form, if I remember correctly, and not a circle. Uh, let's see if we, I think they fix that. Oh, no. Uh, but that is the Sun, Earth, and Code example. Uh, we actually have a sponsor of this video, so thank you to Vera Alex, who has her own YouTube channel. I decided to sponsor this for, for $5 on Fiverr. And if you're interested in learning about how to live a godly life, just go ahead and click the annotation on the page and go over there and give her a thumbs up and a subscribe. Anyhow, thanks for watching the video. See you guys next time.